Welcome back. Um, in the last tutorial we just set up the quick registration thing but we didn't get to finish it. What we're going to do now is um, go ahead and just rebuild that project. Hit play. Run in the editor as well. Start that one as the server. Start that one as the client register. It's a random thing and when we click register we won't get anything here so what we're going to do now is we're going to fix that I'm going to close the client because we have to reload it anyway um, what I want is um, is to pass in a string <laughs> it was already there from the last time I tried to test it okay and in here what we want to do is we want to check like we did before we want to filter it um, down to the server so if network dot is server then um, debug dot log our username variable that we've got we've gotten over the network um, now all we have to do is pass in that parameter and instead of passing in a string well, we will be passing in a string, but we're, all we're going to do is we're going to pass in exactly what's written in the text field, which is username up here and here. So once we do that, rebuild the client, and the server is going to have to run in the editor if you want to be able to see the debug. And now all I want is to run that. Whoops. Server. Start the client. Register. Vincent. Click register. And there we go. So we've got our initial message passing of the username. And now what we want to do is we want to do. Um, player prefs yeah we're gonna save with player prefs and we're gonna do set string username username and then username as well now the reason this is is that our first initial key here has to be different each time you when using player prefs unlike um, MySQL and things like that um, it doesn't have a top class we have to it's all under one layer so we have to do username and then we have to put the same username after that that's the only way of making every account unique or else you'd only have one account which would always be changing so once we've done that um, all you want to do is that actually no that's pretty much it we don't really have to validate it after that all we want to do is in our login <coughs> in our login we're gonna have to create a new variable for login as well pool login UI double click on that copy it and right here we do and equals false so if register equals true and thingy equals false then do that else just like that going to delete that and then in here we kind of copy the same thing but just change them around ah i want to i want that to be the first one and then that to be here and we're basically going to create the same thing but we're going to do a login yep so that's pretty much it and now we just have to create that RPC function here I'm gonna put that on top RPC void whoops ah oh well and don't forget the string as the username if network dot is server like 
that. Now we're going to do um, check username equals player prefs dot has has key. So the player prefs dot has key means um, if the player prefs has this username, it's going to return to true as a boolean. So all we have to do is um, uh, username. We do if username is equal to check not checked check username and I just have to type in bool up here then um, we're gonna have to do an, a new RPC function that returns true well actually all we're gonna do is um, login so all we're gonna do is application dot load level and we're just going to load level 1. All I'm going to do here is save that. Fix the errors. Operator cannot if if username. Oh, if check username equals true. There we go. Okay. It's telling me that you can't compare a string to a boolean, which is perfectly true. Um, all we're going to do now is new scene, save that out as scene 2. Go to your build, add it, go back to example networking or whatever other main scene you have. Click build, quick build. Close that one quick. Ah. Alright, great. Open that up. I'm going to start this one as the server. Um, start that one as the client. Call this one Vincent. Log in. And that is not working. Why is it not working? Well, in the next tutorial, we're going to fix it. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.